is, is it possible to change uh, the probability even if it that's the key question yes you see so one of the things that we haven't talked about yet is that this is a schoolhouse we said that and schoolhouses are much more effective if you have feedback you know how are we doing right that's why a teacher gives you a test to find out how you're doing well we have this ability to modify future probability with our intent so if we have an intention that intention will change these probabilities so if i have something that is let's say a thousand to one that this is going to happen thousand to one is not likely to happen thousand to one is not gonna happen, but i want it to happen so i'm I'm a wizard and I have a real good, you know, I can get my intellect out of the way and a lot of being level energy here. So I'm gonna drop that down from a thousand to one all the way down to just a hundred to one. Well, you know, that's a whole order of magnitude. That's a lot of change. Or even down to 10 to one, two orders of magnitude. It's still not likely to happen. It's still 10 to one. You know, the, the best bet is that it's still not gonna happen. So just because you can use your intent to modify probability, is not saying that you can get whatever you want. It's just saying that you can modify probability. Now, if I have something that's, uh, you know, maybe uh, 50%, maybe 45% and, you know, 55%, well, it's only you know, a little bit between them. So this is the, you know, I can maybe change those. I can make the one that was 45 bigger and the one that was 55 lower enough that now the probability is skewed in that direction. But out of that kind of a draw between those two things, you might get either one, but you have a little bigger chance of getting the one that's the highest now. Now, those kinds of things are easier to change. So the key here is uncertainty. If you have a lot of uncertainty in a situation, then your ability to affect that situation with your intent is greater. You see? If you don't have much uncertainty, like 100,000 to one, there's not a lot of uncertainty there, you see? Your effect is, you're not likely to change those kinds of things. So we talk about using our minds to heal. Well, the way that works is the same way the placebo effect works. Actually, the placebo effect is using our mind to heal. Placebo effect is you give somebody medicine that really isn't medicine. You give them sugar pills or you know, sawdust pills or something. Tell them it's a wonderful medicine, they take it and they get better. It's not just that they think they get better, they actually do. The, the, the control group that isn't given the placebo doesn't get better to the extent that the placebo, the ones that get the placebo do. So it actually does help people get better. That's because you've helped them have a positive intent about the outcome. And biology is so immensely complex, there's always a lot of uncertainty. There's always hundred different ways it could work out because it's a hugely complex system. So that's why healing with your mind is one of the easiest things you can do. If you want to start out and pick the easiest thing, healing with your mind is easy. Now, you will be more effective at it if you can get rid of your intellect out of the equation. You can work from your being level and you can make your mind a noiseless, you know, uh, and a pure focused intention. And most people can't do that, but you can with some practice. So that's, that's a thing. Now, the reason that's a feedback is that means that this world we have in general is going to look like we are. It's going to have a quality to it that matches our quality because we have intentions all the time. And these intentions then will help manifest that kind of a thing you see i mean we've known that this works from forever i go back to you know what was it the, the power of positive thinking 1950 something 55 norman vincent peel maybe i'm making that up i don't know if he was the guy that did it or not but he did a little research and realized that people who have real positive attitudes have a lot of positive stuff that goes on in their life People with really negative attitudes, you know, woe is me, you know, everything happens to me, nothing ever works out for me. Well, a lot of stuff just doesn't seem to work out for them. And he looked at that and said, well, intention has a lot to do with it. And he wrote this book, The Power of Positive Thinking. 
And if you think positive, things will work for you. Okay, now what, uh, you know, 50, 50, 60 years later, we have a secret, you know, which says that you can modify, uh, they say the universe, but the universe is just a small thing. In this. When you're talking consciousness, our physical universe isn't the end all. It's just a, a small piece of a bigger, a bigger thing. But they, they have the same idea that intention can change, you know, what happens. And that's true. It does. But again, the system, if you have, if, if what you're trying to change with your intentions is something that's going to blow up your ego, the system isn't going to play ball with you. Or it's going to give you that, but with a, with a very strong lesson that comes with it. You know, be careful what you wish for sort of things. There'll be unintended consequences. Uh, if, your, if what your intention is, has, is coming from love and caring and respect and so on, then the system will go out of the way to give you, you know, to help you with that result. So it's an interactive thing between you and the system that we're in, in this game. So yes, that's a fact. So people who think that this is a really terrible place, you know, watch the news, watch, turn on your TV and you'll find ugliness everywhere, right? It's just terrible. Politics, governments, industry, corporations, everybody's ripping us off. Everybody's taking advantage. Everybody's trying to tell us what to do, how to vote, what to buy. And you see all of this controlling stuff and it's ugly. People are being nasty to each other. People are greedy. People are self-centered, self-serving. You know, what can I get? How can I use you to my advantage? You know, what, what can I get out of this relationship? That sort of thing. And if you think this is a nasty, harsh world, it is the perfect reflection of who we are because we modify intent. And this place is us. So you look at the, the average quality of consciousness and it's poor. Most people are self-centered, self-focused, full of fear, 